Hey guys, Aberration is here, and we're gonna be checking out all of the new creatures in this video here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We got so many new things to check out. Make sure that you guys hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point, and uh, subscribe for the rest of the Aberration content. It's all coming, we're gonna be covering everything. So, there's a bunch of soldier creatures in this expansion. I was about to say mod. In this expansion, there is... Like, I think there's four in total, and then there's another one which I'm kind of confused about, which we'll talk about in a second, but this is the Bulb Dog. We saw this dude in the trailer. It has the little torch on its head. You can put that out, you can put it on, and it's got a couple new stats. A lot of the charge creatures have all these new stats as well. Instead of stamina, we get charge capacity, which is the amount of charge it can hold. Uh, we get charge regen instead of oxygen. Not exactly sure how this works, um, because it's not decreasing, but this dude has less charge than... Wait, is he on full charge or is he on... Yeah, look, he's a little bit down on the charge, but the charge regen doesn't seem to be... I just don't understand the stat yet, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then we got right here, we got the charge emission range, which is essentially the radius around you that the uh, charge is going to cover. Obviously, you want a lot of charge to protect yourself from the nameless, which are creatures that come from the ground, and they basically will just kill you. The charge is what keeps them away, um, so some charge every day keeps the nameless away. Uh, this is the bulb dog. It sits on your shoulder. Really, really cool. Um, super derpy. Not exactly sure why this thing's able to sit on my shoulder, but I'm just gonna let it slide. <laughs> it looks far too fat to be sitting on your shoulder. Oh my god, my dude's probably like slouching to one side after about five minutes of holding this dude on my shoulder. But uh, yeah, really, really cool. Then over here we got the shine horn, which is that crazy little deer thing that we saw in the pictures. Everybody talked about how it had six legs. I don't know why you guys were thinking that it had six legs. The Tossie out clearly had four legs, but uh, here it is. It's this tiny little deer, and it sits on your shoulder as well. I was very surprised when I saw this thing. I actually thought this would be like the size of a Megalosaurus or something, or a Megaloceros or something. <laughs> this is another charge creature, so you can see the charge comes from its ears. Let's turn the charge off. And then turn it back on there. So yeah, really, really cool. Really awesome little animations as well. Uh, he's got the same kind of uh, setup with his stats as well. All the charge creatures have this. Um, obviously, each charge creature probably varies in terms of like what they're good at, in terms of range or capacity or whatever. Uh, I think the bulb dog has the highest capacity, but this thing seems to have pretty good range and pretty good regen as well. So yeah, that is the Shinehorn, really cute little creature. Oh man, I kind of just want like a bunch of these in real life. Like, look at this! <laughs> so derpy. Uh, okay, then we have the Feather Light, which is this tiny little bird. And we can turn off the charge there. Uh, is that turned off or is that turned on? I think I just turned the charge on there. It's kind of hard to tell with this thing. Oh yeah, it's just generally really bright. Uh, it's kind of like a tiny little bird. Um, it seems to have pretty good range. I think this is the highest range we've seen so far. Uh, the capacity isn't as high though. Seriously? Go away. You're annoying me. <laughs> uh, the feather light is another creature. Obviously, it sits on your shoulder. It looks really cool. Um, obviously, this thing could probably fly around and follow you as well. Uh, let's get him on follow here for a second. Come here, buddy. Here he comes. So yeah, this thing flies around. You can have a bunch of these just following you. Probably really handy with the fact that they can actually follow you around like that while flying. So you could have this and you could have another one on your shoulder. Uh, so let's unfollow on that dude. Then we got the glow tail, which is that tiny little gecko dude. Stop. <laughs> that tiny little gecko dude from the, uh, from the dossiers that we saw. This thing is really cool looking. It's like the tiny little gecko guy from, uh, there's like this advert a couple years ago where it's like geckos and... One of them's like falling from like a crack of the ceiling. It kind of reminds me of that. Oh man, super cute looking. Um, this guy has a lot of charge regen, but as you can see the rest of the stats, the charge capacity is a little bit lower. Does that go by much? It goes up by a decent amount. Holy crap, calm down. <laughs> so yeah, it sits on your shoulder. I don't know what one is my favorite on my shoulder. It's either, it's gonna either be that little like the shine horn or the glow tail. Um, very, very awesome looking. <laughs> Oh man, alright, so let's chuck this dude down. Uh, so yeah, that is all the small creatures that can fit on your shoulder. There is another creature, where did that dude go? Is that you over there? There you are, the Seeker. This thing I'm kind of confused about. It doesn't seem to be able to sit on my shoulder, but it says to equip a saddle, but this is a flyer, you can't ride flyers in this, so I think that maybe this, this creature's like bugged out or something, I'm not exactly sure. But that's the crazy like little... Cthulhu looking creature from the dossiers that we saw. Let me get him on follow. Are you gonna follow me, buddy? Yeah, there you go. Come on. Open up your mouth, though. You had your mouth open before. Are you gonna do it for us? Ah, 
he's not opening up his mouth. Come on, buddy. Do something. Uh, he's not going to do it, is he? Uh, let me get him into a follow group. So let's go follow group two. Put him into that. Is he in that? Okay, let's get him to attack a dodo. Uh, oh, I, for some reason my key binding's all reset. Is he going to open up his mouth? Oh, look, I think he did for a second there. He had his mouth open before for some reason, but now he seems to keep it closed. I don't know, like, I'm not sure exactly how to use this thing or show this thing off. Like, it doesn't have anything extra, so a little bit confused about him, but he also seems to have, like, bioluminescent kind of skin at parts. I don't exactly know if he emits the, uh, the charge at all, but, uh, yeah, there he is. He doesn't have any of the charge abilities, so I don't think so. I think it's just a creature that kind of could just follow you, but just can't... Uh, you can't have him on your shoulder. At least I don't think so. Maybe he's bugged out right now. But anyway, that is the Seeker. Really cool looking creature. Unfortunately, he just won't open up his mouth at all. Uh, he's got like these little tentacles, essentially. You can kind of see them in there. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's move on. Now, this is a creature that you're not supposed to be able to tame, but I just force tamed it. Put a battery. Or... Okay, cool. Yeah, so you can essentially harvest charge off these dudes. It's a, it's kind of the same as having the jug bugs and the little oil bug guys as well. Um, they they just fly around pretty much and you can harvest uh, the charge off of them as you can see they got 500 uh, So essentially you can run right up get some charge off these guys they'll fly away I, I assume uh, but I just force tamed one just to show you guys really cool looking uh, can't even go to its inventory or anything So yeah, that is the the glow bug really cool. <laughs> Oh man, all right, let's get on to some of the other creatures here. Let's get on to this guy right here. This is called the Ravager. This is that kind of chupacabra looking creature from the dossiers that we saw, and it is super cool looking. Let me actually get one of these guys on my shoulder. Um, what do we want? Let's, uh, let's get you on my shoulder. Actually, no, let's get you on my shoulder. You still seem to have some charge on you. So uh, yeah, this is the chupacabra looking creature. This thing, I believe, can actually f like climb down zip lines and stuff, and it can follow you on zip lines if it's a wild one chasing you. Let's check out its attacks. So it's got left click does a bite, right click does a claw attack, so it's kind of like a saber, and then C does a roar, which is really cool, and then X doesn't do anything. So you can kind of just run around these dudes. Obviously, they're probably pretty good at getting around as well because you can climb down your zip lines and go up after enemies and probably climb across vines and stuff as well. I think there's some vines in this map that you can go across. But uh, I don't think you can climb up on surfaces like a Thyla. I think it's just mostly to get around your base and everything. But a uh, really cool looking creature anyway. I'd be very interested to see how good these guys actually are. And they are the creature that gets the unique saddle skin, like the Parasaur and then the the, uh, what is it called, the Thorny Dragon, and now it's this guy, the Ravager. Really cool looking saddle skin, though. I really like this. Oh, man. Also, I forgot to mention, this is a creature that I also had to force tame. It's called the Lamprey. We saw this guy in the dev kit a long time ago. It's kind of like a different version of a leech that sits on your shoulder. It seems to have some form of charge on its, on its tail there, but uh, you're not supposed to be able to tame these guys. Pretty much just force tame them just to show you guys, too. Really, really terrifying. Uh, we had a look at that guy maybe like a year ago in the dev kit. Really, really strange why they're deciding to use that now, though. Hmm. All right, let's check out something else. I've already kind of checked out the roll rat. I, I just had to. This thing is amazing. Let me pull off the saddle first so you can see how disgusting this thing is at the same time. It's like a giant naked mole rat, and it's called the roll rat. And you put this cool saddle on that looks like one of those, like, Roman kind of... Roman-esque chariot type things, uh, but you can hop onto this guy. This is his left click attack. He does a bite. He doesn't have a C attack, doesn't have an X attack, but he has a right click attack or ability, and it's really cool. Let me, let me show you. So you essentially just do a giant roll like this, and uh, yeah, <laughs> you can actually turn and kill things with this thing as well. Let me roll right into something. Yeah, we just destroyed whatever that was. I don't even know. We seem to be able to roll through like rocks and trees and everything, but when you hit a surface, you seem to stop. Um, let me get back into that there. So yeah, really cool. One thing with this creature is that its saddle seems to actually decrease in durability when you are using it, so that's something to keep note of. Obviously, you can't keep using these guys. They're pretty OP with the fact that they can actually turn and kill things, so I assume the more that you kill, the more that durability is gonna decrease. So yeah, that is, that's really, really cool. That's the roll rack, guys. Let me check out the stats so you can kind of see. Pretty good health. Uh, the stamina is pretty good too. Melee seems pretty good, and the weight is obviously pretty good too. I'm not sure if they have like a special ability in terms of like harvesting. Well, I guess we'll figure that out at some point here. But uh, yeah, really, really strange looking. Oh man, really unique saddle as well, gotta say. Then over here we have the basilisk. This is, oh my god, this thing's amazing. 
I love this so much. Uh, the colors, just the colors, the model, just everything about this thing is amazing. It's got the left click attack, which is a bite. It's got a right click attack, which I believe shoots some stuff. It's kind of like a poison wyvern. and it shoots the little ball of uh, gas. And it blows up like that. It seems to be the exact same attack as a poison wyvern. Obviously, you can kind of just, you know, you can kind of run along the, or go along the ground on this dude. We're having an earthquake here, which is amazing. <laughs> and then, obviously, uh, yeah, you can kind of just go around on this dude. He's got a really fast sprint. And I think he's able to go over surfaces. Oh, I just got an explorer note. What the hell? All right, we'll take a look at that after. I think he's able to go over surfaces, too. So let me just run right into that. Yeah, so we go right over things. And then, oh, I'm going to probably take fall damage. Ow. Okay, that hurt. Uh, so yeah, and also, we're, al we're also able to dig here. Wait, what button is the dig? Okay, so that's C, so he does like a little bit of a roar. And then dig, how the hell do we dig? How do we dig? I don't know how to dig. It, I think it used to be able to dig, there was some leaks and stuff, and this thing was able to dig in the leaks, but maybe they changed that. I don't know. But these things are actually hidden underneath the ground for when you're around Apparition in the map. Uh, you'll see two little kind of things from its tail. You see, or three little things from its tail. Ah, help. Let's kill him. Oh man, we just destroyed that raptor. But uh, yeah, really, really awesome. Um, let me try and see if I can hide him underneath the ground. Let's kill this turtle as well. So yeah, um, let's try to hide you. There we go. I don't know if we can still ride him. You used to be able to, but uh, maybe you have to do a special thing and then you're able to ride him. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, really cool. That's what you'll see when you see one of these guys in the wild. Really terrifying, so just watch out for these dudes. Uh, then we have some, some more stuff over here. We have uh, the Car Carcanos, which is the giant crab. Let me let me just set the time of day. Uh, there we go. Get it kind of bright in here. So this is the giant crab creature, which is super awesome looking. Look at this thing. Oh man, it's terrifying. It truly is just terrifying. We're able to pick up creatures with this. So you press right click to pick up a creature with your right claw, and I believe you can pick up creatures with your left claw too. So yeah, I have creatures in my claws now. How do I throw them? Left again? Oh no, that, okay. So left will smash them into the ground. So I think if you maybe see, Oh, there we go. So we're in throwing mode now. Holy crap! <laughs> we just threw that dodo across the map. Holy crap. Okay, let me see. Can I pick up one of my creatures? Let's pick up this uh, Reaper. Or Ravager, even. Not Reaper. Uh, so let me pick you up. Uh, can I, can I like, throw you? Okay. Oh, okay. So I have to use right click because he's in my right claw. How do I throw him? Oh, wait. No, let's go back into C mode. Okay. I think I just... Let me try that again. I think I kind of messed up or something. Okay, so let me see. Okay, how the hell do you do it? <laughs> this is like confusing. The The controls are odd. Okay, so we seem to be able to throw things at like different distances, I guess, assuming by their weight or something. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> really awesome though. Does he have an X attack? No. What does a C attack do when I like hit a wild creature? Doesn't seem to do anything, but I can pick up creatures like this and then let's try to throw this dude. So we didn't throw him very far. Can I like swap claws or something? I don't know if I could like swap claws. So I seem to be able to just smash them into the ground. Or we could just like hit creatures that we can't pick up like this. So you can kind of just like smash with the claws. They're, it's really interesting controls on this creature. Um. Let me see. Holy crap. He looks amazing, though. And he's also got this giant lunge as well. So you hold down space, and then you can do this giant lunge forward and kind of up as well. Holy crap. Imagine just finding one of these things in the wild. It's just going to jump right on you and eat your face. Completely. Pinch your face off. Okay, well, let's just check out something else here. We got the rock drake that I really want to try out. Oh man, look at this dude. Majestic as crap. All right, so the rock drake. Let me see. Right click or left click attack, right click attack. I think, what does this do? I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> right click just seems to put my head up. I'm a little bit confused about that. Okay, that's a little bit odd. See, what does that do? That makes us invisible. Oh man, that is so cool. 
and then X. What does X do? Okay, I'm not exactly sure, but let's try to climb up something here. So it seems to be the same as a Thyla, so you can kind of just climb up a little bit. The same as a Megalania as well. It's like a very fast Megalania. Oh man, this is amazing. So yeah, let me see, how do I... Okay, wait, how do I glide? Oh, there we go. Okay, so you hold down space to glide. And then I should be able to like lunge forward. So hold down left click to lunge forward. Oh man, that is amazing. Oh, let's do that again. So if we hold down left click, we can like lunge forward. Wait, no, right click and then left click, I think. Dude, the controls are like difficult to figure out. Oh, we could just jump straight up and start gliding like this. Oh, I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a while to get used to this thing. This is like my first time trying it. All right, let's try to get like a decent glide. Okay, well, I'm pretty heavy, so I don't know. Maybe I might not be able to just glide straight off the ground. Let's see, can we like... Okay, so we did that there. I think you can only do that to surfaces. Can I like fly right into a surface and latch onto it? Oh, I'm not gonna make it, am I? Oh, okay, I'm out of stamina now. All right. Well, that is the Rock Drake, really cool. Um, oh my. I really, I wanna take some time and actually get used to using this thing, cause obviously this is crazy. Like I've never used this thing before. It's really cool though. Look at those stats as well. Um, you definitely wanna be pumping a lot of stamina on this dude and probably some speed as well. Can you pump speed? Should be able to. No, you can't. Interesting. It's not a flyer, but you can't pump speed. That is unique. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, that is the Rock Drake. Oh my god, this has the tech saddle as well. We'll probably check that out at some other time, but uh, really cool looking. This is also a two-person rider as well, so you can have two people on the back. It's a double saddle. Then let's let's go over here and check out the Nameless Queen. Um, I think this thing speaks for itself. This thing is amazing looking. Terrifying, amazing. I can't get the king to spawn properly. He seems to spawn underneath the ground. I can't get him to come out. But this is the queen here. I think we're kind of have, we have that like weird glow around us because we have the charge creature on. What happens if I drop him? Oh, R seems to do something as well. Holy crap, this thing has so many attacks. Uh, how do I get rid of the creature on my shoulder? Okay, well, let me, let me hop off and like chuck him over there. So I think that like glow around the queen is because we had a creature, yeah. So the charge actually harms the queen. So we don't want to have any creatures with charge on them when we're riding on the queen here. We have like a spike through our back as well. Oh man, let's check this thing out. So left click does a bite, right click does some sort of like poison thing. I, I don't even know, like poison bombs. Uh, then C does like a giant tail swipe. And then X does like a giant, like just really heavy tail swing, I guess. R apparently does something as well. It shoots little spikes like the thorny dragons. This is crazy, it has so many attacks. What else would it do? Q maybe? I don't even know. C? We already tried C. What am I doing? V? Uh, that does, no. Okay, well, <laughs> that is the Nameless Queen. Oh, we get that glow whenever we're near creatures with a... Uh... Yeah, look at that. Okay, interesting. So yeah, that is the Nameless Queen, guys. That is crazy looking. We can't actually um, jump on it, so it actually buries itself in the ground. Let's get you back out. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Oh man. But uh, yeah, guys, that is all of the aberration creatures. There's also the Nameless and the um, and the other dude, the Nameless King, or the, what is it called? Uh, the Reaper King. I can't get them to spawn, but we'll check them out at another time uh, for sure. But I don't think you can tame any of those guys anyway. So yeah, this is amazing, guys. I can't wait to get started with a full series on aberration. Really excited. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys know anything else about these creatures, let me know down below. I really would like to see, because uh, I assume, obviously, I don't know all this stuff. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I will catch you in the next one.